Hello again, welcome back to my little kitchen. Today we're going to be making carnitas. Carnitas have to be one of my favorite taco fillings of all times. And they come from the state of Michoacán in Mexico, where they are traditionally cooked into massive pots of copper. Um, and they are submerged in lard and cooked there for a long period of time until they're like really tender and fall apart and then they're serving tacos. Well, now for our version today, we're gonna make it a, a home version of this um, and also with way less of the fat, but every bit delicious still. So for that, we're gonna need um, a kilo and a half of um, pork shoulder. Now, just ask your butcher to, get them to cut it for you into bite-sized pieces and then to keep some of the fat in there as well because that's just going to keep your carnitas moist but it's also going to give them a lot of flavor. So we got the pork shoulder in here and then we're going to make like a kind of rub or um, quick marinade for our pork and for that we're going to use the chipotle paste, um, four garlic cloves, we're going to use some Mexican oregano, but if you can't find any, uh, uh, just any oregano is fine. Uh, we're going to also use a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of um, black peppercorns and about two tablespoons of olive oil, just to bind it all together. Now, with that we're going to marinate our meat and then we're going to cook it um, in the oven for a long time long time uh, with the orange juice it, this is freshly made i just um, got the juice from four oranges and that's enough but you can use um, just uh, any juice you got at home as well um, obviously fresh is always better i recommend that <laughs> we're also going to be using about half a cup of um, apple cider vinegar just to um, just balance uh, with the sweetness of the juice and bring even more flavor into that pork. Um, so after slow cooking our carnitas, uh, we'll, I'll tell you what to do later, but we're gonna serve them up with a quick pickle that we're gonna make with these uh, spring onions, the carrot and the red onion, a little bit of lime juice and some extra virgin olive oil in there perhaps. We're gonna be serving our tacos into soft tacos and also I thought that some of these salsa will go amazing with this. It's the habanero and mango one from Gran Luchito. So right, I'm excited to, to begin with this recipe. I hope you are too. Let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be making is the rub or little marinade for our pork. And for that we're gonna need the four garlic cloves so we're just going to give them a whack, peel them and place them into the food processor. Like that. And now we are also going to be adding a tablespoon of the chipotle paste. Um, if you want to make them less spicy, just add half of the amount. gorgeous already let's add some of the Mexican oregano in there the cumin and the black peppercorn and finally the olive oil there you go now we're just gonna give this a little uh, whiz until it combines into a paste That looks perfect, just like that. Uh, we're gonna bring our baking dish in here and then we're gonna be placing the pork here. You see how I got some of the fat bits as well in there. You really don't want to get rid of all the fat because that's just gonna give way 
like more flavor and keep it moist. And then we're gonna be adding this gorgeous paste into our carnitas. It's, it's perfect for family dish as well because you can make a big casserole of carnitas and then just make everyone happy in that. Right, so we added a little bit of um, freshly ground black pepper in that and I'm just gonna season the meat a little bit. And now with my spoon, I'm gonna coat my carnitas just so that they all are covering that lovely paste. Right, so uh, in the back, I got my oven already on at 160 degrees. So don't forget to preheat your oven so it's ready to go once you got carnitas season. Yep. So let's add the orange juice in there. And the apple cider vinegar. And finally, just a little bit of fresh coriander. Leaves and stems, please. The stems have all the flavor, so never, never get rid of the stems. So just roughly chop, and we're gonna pop that on top. Now I'm gonna cover my carnitas with some tin foil. So just Make sure you cover them tightly. So you're trying to keep all the moisture in them while they cook slow. Slow and low, how do they say? But I think honestly that's the trick to good carnitas. Just cook them on a low temperature for a long time. So in that way you always get the perfect tender moist carnitas. Just one more layer of foil and make, make sure all the sides are nice tucked in. Place them in the middle of your oven. In the meantime, we can prepare a quick pickle. So for that, we're gonna use just a piece of carrot, a lime, spring onion and half a red onion right so for that we're gonna chop everything finely now the reason why I cut them this small is because well it will be like a kind of uh, perfect for the salsa but also it will absorb the the acid and the um, olive oil much faster and it will soften up the, the bigger you cut your vegetables, the longer it will take to, to pickle. So that's why it's a quick pickle. Right, so we're also gonna add a little bit of spring onion in there. And pop it in your bowl. Finally, we do the red onion. A lovely crunch as well. So red onion, nearly done, and then everything into that little bowl. So I think you only have to let it rest about a couple of minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. Um, um, about five to ten minutes, because it's all chopped finely, so it shouldn't take too long. So I'm adding half a lime. Add all the whole lime if you prefer it a bit more acidic but I'm only gonna add half and then I'm gonna add a little splash of apple cider vinegar and then finally about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil salt salt and freshly ground 
black pepper then we're just gonna mix it all and that's it to let it rest it'll be ready by the time you get those tacos going okay after three hours I just taken my carnitas out of the oven and now I'm gonna get rid of the tin foil carefully just the steam is gonna be very hot and we're gonna see it's the big reveal Wow, look at that. Now we're gonna check that they're lovely and tender. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but they're like easily break with a spoon. Right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop them back into the oven at 220 degrees for 20 minutes. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna crisp up the top of our carnitas. And that's the perfect combination to me for a perfect carnita recipe. They have to be tender in the side, but crisp on the top. So I'm just gonna mix all the lovely juices in here. Just baste the meat. And now we're gonna get these carnitas in there. In the meantime, um, I got some, some uh, tortillas from Luchito already out. So I'm just going to warm up these soft tacos in a pan just to have them ready to serve. Okay, so after 15-20 minutes in a high temperature, my carnitas are ready to come out. They look amazing. Honestly, you just have to make this to make your family happy. Um, now here, I already warm up some soft tacos and then I wrap them in some tea towel to keep them warm and this is how I will serve it at my table. Just bring the carnitas in the middle, the warm tortillas, the quick pickle, some salsa, limes and just everybody can make their own tacos. So, we got our tortilla there. And then we got our awesome carnitas in here, look at that. So we're gonna spoon some of these onto our plate with the lovely juices. A well served taco. And then we're gonna add some of the quick pickle on top. Like this and some mango and habanero salsa because I think this fruity salsa goes perfect with this you can always add some more as you go along there you go and let's not forget very important lime squeeze of lime use on top I'm gonna add a tiny bit of coriander in that Garnish, nice sprinkle of sea salt, and there you go. Now, this is my homemade carnitas with chipotle. I really hope that you like this recipe. Please do try it and le let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recipes. Okay, till next time.